So welcome back to finals day here at the Singapore Open. Two finals are completed and another three to come. Our next final is women's doubles and it features the current world champions Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara up against Kim Makai Jiong and Kong Hee Yong who are appearing in their first ever final as a pair. So when we look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the women's doubles, only six of the top 10 on that list have contested a World Tour final this year. But the top six have won six of the nine previous World Tour titles so far this year. After this week in Singapore, the current number three is there. Whether they win or lose today's final will go up two places to number one. By virtue of their semi-final, the current number fours will go up at one place to number three. And uh, Polly and uh, Rahayu will drop down to two, which of course pushes down Chen, Jing Cheng and Jia Yifan further down the list to number four. Well, as far as the women's doubles draw is concerned from quarter-final stage, four Japanese pairs, including uh, both the finalists from last year. Sakura Moto and Takahata Hata were the defending champions. And the beaten finalists last year, uh, Matsuyama and Shida, they also lost in the quarter-final stage. So by semi-final stage in the top half of the draw, all Japanese aff affair, which was a repeat of last year's World Championship final. And as with the World Championship final, it was Matsumoto and Nagahara. Bottom half of the draw, the reigning World Junior Champions, beaten by this new pair of Kim and Kong from Korea. So no former champions left in. We are going to have new names on the women's doubles trophy here at the Singapore Open. So Mayu Matsumoto leading out her partner Wakana Nagahara, making their first appearance at this event. In fact, both pairs are making their first ever appearance at the Singapore Open. What a debut for both of them. Kim Hyejong and Kong Hee Yong only one previous tournament this year together, and that was last week in Malaysia, where they lost in the second round. So, given the fact uh, that the Koreans are always swapping their partnership, that is not such a surprise that this is the first ever meeting between these two pairs. So it's our red umpire or black from red Brazil, Fabio okay. Lopez. It's also the coin. Red for you. And thank you. So it's the Japanese pair who Receive. won the who toss. Me you. Inside. And I Rooster. think they've chosen to receive. I you. can hardly believe that decision. They chose to receive. Yes. That is amazing. So, these two pairs, one unseeded, the number three seeds from Japan, the reigning world champions. And they become only the fourth different pair from Japan to contest the final here in the women's doubles discipline at the Singapore Open. Wagana Nagahara is 23 years of age from the northernmost of the four main islands, the island of Hokkaido, as indeed is her partner. Same age, same part of Japan. Went up one place on the world rankings this week, enjoying their first ever week at a career high of number two. So a first appearance here, as I say, uh, but a second final this year because they were in the All England final. But when we look at their route through to today's final for the world champions, 
Well, it started in very quick fashion, just 22 minutes for their opening match, only 36 for their second. And by the semi-final stage, that was the longest match, as one would expect. But against the world number ones and number one seeds, a repeat of last year's world championship final. And as you can see, two straight games in 46 minutes. So to the Korean unseeded combination and Kim Hae-jong. There she is, 21 years of age, daughter of Chung so Young, who I remember well, gold medalist at the Olympic Games in Barcelona, playing with Wang Hae-young. And she and her partner had a career high of 47, but I wouldn't pay too much attention to that because the partnerships have been switch round so often and they've only got seven tournaments towards that world ranking. Kong Hee Young, 22 years of age. And when we look at their path through to today's final, well, draw your attention to the second round match against the four-time beaten finalists, the Olympic champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi. And then in the quarterfinal, the number seven seeds, last year's beaten finalists, and the semi-final against the reigning world junior champions so a tough route but not dropping a game despite the level of their opponents so our court officials as i was telling you from brazil and singapore So it was only last year that okay. the Japanese pair won the Singapore Open for the very first time. Sukura Moto and Takahata in an all Japanese final. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Hee Young, Kong Hee Young, Korea. And on my left, Mayu Matsumoto, Wakana Nagahara, Japan. Kim he won to serve to Mayu Matsumoto. Love all. Play. So the unseeded combination of Kim Hae-jong and Kong Hee-yong getting this women's doubles final underway. The question is, can Kim Hae-jong create history today? One, I think she would become one. the first player to emulate a parent in winning the Singapore Open title because her mother won this title here in 1991 with Cheong Myung-hee. I think you're right. Yeah. Chances are. Sugiyato yeah. had won the event, but the Singapore Open didn't start as a tournament until after, I think, Ichuk Sugiyato. More or less had yeah. retired, yeah. more or less. I was also thinking about uh, Sun uh, Ji Hyun. Yeah. And her father. Or oh, mother. Or oh, mother, Two. Yes. One. What's happening here? What's I the think there's a flash <laughs> photography. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness me, did the full splits. No problem when you're flexible. No. Three, one. Well, 
Well, whichever Four, pair wins, Morton, one. we're guaranteed a ninth different women's doubles pair, winning at the tenth World Tour event of the year. The only pair that's won twice is Chen Ching Chen and Jai Yi Fan, who won the All England and the game last week in Malaysia. Yes. Yeah. So that's a pretty healthy situation. For it's really, good, really good for women's, yes. women's doubles. Then it's over. Two, four. Korean coaches, Kim Hoon Soo on the right as we looked at them. And Lee Kyung Won. Oh. Olympic silver medalist in over. Beijing in 2000. There she is on the left in 2008 playing with Lee Ho Jong. In front of the court by the Three, Koreans. Five. And this is what Kim is really, really good at: is that counter-attacking shot. But the next Four, thing she's doing is the follow-up at the five. net. She is really quick getting in at the net. a real opportunity there over. for Kim Hae-jong. the rally around with a good drive defense and that's definitely one of the um, fortes of that partnership is when uh, Matsumoto is, is doing that counter-attacking play she can be very creative as you say <laughs> but the downside of, of that for the Japanese pair Six, is that as and when seven. if she's not having the best of days the, the partnership is really struggling because she's the one that's going to create the chances. She's the one that's going to create the game for the two oh. Japanese. Nakahara is, is more following the lead of uh, whatever Sober. Matsumoto is doing. Eight, yeah. Six. and watched Kong Hee Yong was when she reached the final of the Japan Super Series event with Kim Ha Na. Came through the qualifying to reach the final. It was two years ago. But the way the Korean pairs are swapping their partnerships in the women's doubles is they can do it due to the fact oh. that uh, they're almost certain to get into the qualification anyway and then they can work their way from the qualification even if it's a scratch pair. 
and that's a big difference compared to some of the other categories. Yeah. Yeah, well taken. Oh, goodness me. One of four straight Nine, points to go into the lead. Eight. Just these two players from Korea, they have three different rankings on the world ranking with different partners. final this year. She and Kim So Young won the Spain Masters 300. And if I'm not mistaken them, I think they were in the final in Indonesian Masters. The same pair. Steps over. Nine, ten. Oh, it's all good. It's all in, yes. So it is the world champions who have a one-point advantage here at the mid-game interval. It's the opening game. Oh, that's a nice big smile there from uh, Matsumoto to her coach. Oh, that's plumb on the line. What a good serve. Attack there, absolutely superb from Kim Hae Jong. She's got very good, fast reactions when it comes to her racket skills, but also when it comes to you know movement on court. Yeah. Too. Well, what were we saying about Hatsumoto? Yeah, she created that opportunity there. 12, 11. Kim probably over anticipating a little bit, and then she got fooled by that play shot from Hatsumoto. Uh, Eleven. 
put some power into that smash. She did. It's over. But it was a very well. nice attacking clear. 14. That was setting it all up. And then, of course, that's the attacking clear. And that's the smashing opportunity. Really put some effort into that one. Longest running so far. easy shots very often players would tend to just block it but I think that she did it really nicely by actually killing it and finishing it For the two wow. Koreans at the moment is that their attack is too flat and that means that uh, the two Japanese they can move forwards and move into the shots as what we saw Nakahara doing here Seats. a problem for a new pair. Six tournaments last year, but this only the second tournament this year for the Koreans. So again, point opportunities. The world champions Matsumoto and Nagahara. both these pairs. 15, it makes 20. it a lot, lot more exciting to watch. Yeah. So will it be third time lucky? Third hey, game point hey. opportunity for the number three seeds. Well 
saved again by the Koreans. 16-20. Well, I learned my lesson yesterday when Victor Axelson was 16-6 uh, 16, up and I said we were going to have Almost certainly 20. a third game. Yeah. I've learned my lesson. You learned your lesson. You're never going to say that again. No. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. That was incredible. Yeah. It's a fantastic comeback by uh, Kento Momota. And this is a fantastic comeback. And sticking in this opening game by the Koreans. to have a look at the uh, last shot here from Matsumoto. That one there, that's a very good counter-attacking shot. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, isn't it? Her creativity, the positive play on defence. Here it comes, look yeah. at that. But she can do it due to the fact that that smash coming is a bit too flat. Yeah. 21-17 opening game. So Morton, the Japanese pair, obviously the number three seeds, but the Korean pair, unseeded. And so my quiz question of the day for you is the last unseeded women's doubles pair to win the title here. And I'll give you a huge clue <laughs> because it is the only home winners of a title here at the yeah. Singapore Open. 2010. Well done. And the pair? Oh, Sari. Yeah. There's one of them. Shinta Mulia Sari. And. Oh. Yao Lei. Yao Lei. Yes. Yeah, well done, Morton. Oh, I'm going to have to make my questions harder. No, no, please don't, <laughs> please don't. I'm actually prepared for one in the men's doubles this time. Are you? I am prepared. I, I think... You've been swatting up. I think there's one coming in the men's doubles. Wow. But uh, let's see. Let's see if I can trick you for once. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did well there. But I think the... Uh, the Korean pair has really upped the ante a bit on their performance from uh, the Malaysian Masters because they lost the second round to Chen Ching Chen and uh, Jia Yifan. But it was not the fact that they lost, they lost 21-11 uh, and 21-9. So uh, I think they really upped the ante on this one. So in the second game, the world champions, the number three seeds, Matsumoto and Nagahara, one game to the good.
she was quick back to that quick serve. Was Kong Hee Yong. Two, one. That was really good play by Nagahara. That was good anticipation. Saw the attack from partner and then following up at the net on behalf of her. Very quick. Fun fact is, of course, on the coaches' benches. Two players used to play men's doubles together. Absolutely. Olympic gold medalists in Barcelona in 1992, Park Dubon. Yeah. Definitely an unforced error there by Matsumoto. The shot from Kong was not sharp enough. She had the opportunity going in at the net, but she played it very loosely. Matsumoto had lots of time to play the shot. Oh! I see that as a missed opportunity. Good serve. Yeah! Uh, I know earlier Morton, you were saying that Kim Hae Jong was Six. very sharp coming forward, oh. but I tell you what, Kong Hee Young's no, no slug coming <laughs> forward, is she? No, no, she's good. She is definitely. I think the biggest problem, I, I have to highlight it again for the Korean pair, ah! is the fact that they, when they attack, the attacks are becoming too flat. And Seven, that is giving away too many counter-attacking opportunities to the Japanese, and they're taking yeah. them. Yeah. And that's the biggest problem for the Korean player at the moment.
Davis. Well taken in the first place from Nagahara, but her placement on, of the shot was so good. Straight at Kong Hee Young. Sumoto herself was so surprised, that's probably why she made the error. Look at that defence there, she, she didn't think it was going to come back. Very good fighting skills by the two Koreans. Yeah, very good. Matsumoto and Nagahara. Second final of the year. Also had three semi finals. And the worst result was last week when they lost in the quarter final. Steady performers. Yeah. Players. Coach, put on your chair. But no matter how you look at it in the in the women's doubles at the moment, I must say that I feel that the supremacy of Japan is under threat. I know that they have number one, two and three on the world ranking. And yes, they are steadily doing well. But I still think that the challenge from China and the challenge from Korea is on its way. Interesting. And importantly, do you see this pair, this is only playing their second tournament together this year, this Korean pair, being the big challenges. Do you think they'll stick them together now for the rest of the Olympic campaign, or you just don't know what the Koreans are going to do? I don't know what they're going to do. Of course, they must have selected two pairs mm. that they will keep together for the next 12 to 15 months, of course. Mm. But whether this pair is part of those two, I cannot say. No. I don't think they are. The highest ranked Korean pair is Lisa Hee and Shin Sung Chang. Yeah, I think that will be one of them. But I'm 11. not convinced because 
uh, they were split up for these last two tournaments. So, so Lee So Hee with her new partner, uh, Kim So Young, I think she was down to play with. Uh, they pulled out of, of both tournaments. And I think Shin Sung Chang has got too many injury problems. Okay. Yeah, that's. Nobody can do anything about injuries. This is a good one, isn't it? Of the match so far. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, good lift, good lift. Yeah. Quality rally. Left that you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, the longest rally, 50 shots. Suddenly, that ankle is coming on the third one. Yeah. Just two normal smashes, and then suddenly she's creating that angle. Hey. Hey. Smell this, Sarah. It is over 12, 14. Ah. I can't remember any other service errors. I think that might be the first. Certainly a second service error. And it's over. 13, it's time for that is a really good single serve. <laughs> Situation. I think they're very good moving their opponents from side to side on the back line. Whether it's the Koreans in their defense or the Japanese in their defense, they are really good moving the opponent, always trying to move them out of position when they have to hit.
she was totally deceived by that punch clear, wasn't she? She was, and then, of course, the reply way too short. But the, a little nod, acknowledgement mm. yeah. from uh, Kim Moon I could see he was sitting there. So not bad. Yeah. Have to accept. Sometimes when you, you're having a lead and you won the first game, you, you kind of hope that the opponent is just handing over the victory to you and you don't have to do too much, so you become a little bit too passive. Yeah. And I think that's actually what's happening here now. They're, they're just hoping that this is enough, but it's mm. not. They still have to go in there and play really aggressive badminton. Mm. Take the initiative. Because as soon as they don't do it, the two Koreans Oh, what a lovely net ball that. Yep. Smash badly, deflected. But I'm surprised if they are using that attitude, Morton, because this, their seventh World Tour tournament final, and of their previous six, they've only won two. Plus, of course, they lost the World Championship final, they lost the All England final earlier this year. So you think that they... It's unconsciously, if you can say that. Uh, OK, yes, it's in it's the subconscious mind. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not something they're doing on purpose. No. It's just... It just happens. It just happens. It's yeah. seen so many times. Serve, of course, right into the forehand of Nakahara, and that's very, very risky, especially at this time in the match. Finish off the rally. 
and that good combination play means that the world champions have two match point opportunities. attempt on the de defence there by Nakahara and I think she's a little bit upset with herself trying to play a shot like that in a situation Archie Bond can't even watch there we go, better have a look <laughs> Oh, beautiful! What a shot from Ping Hei Gion. One. Two match points have been saved. But the creativity and the vision to see that's what where the gap was. The courage. And the courage to actually play it. One thing is to see it, another one is to play it. So 20 all, we need extra points until there's a clear two-point winning margin. So will it be third time lucky? Third match point opportunity. and a first title of the year for the world champions Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. Well, the disappointment for them at the All England when they lost in the final to Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan. But I have to say we saw some real quality rallies today. And I do hope the Koreans persist with this Korean pair because I think they're very exciting. I think they have huge potential. And they're only, what, 21 and 22 years of age? Yep. So, uh, yes, they have the years in front of them and they can build upon it. So, two consecutive years here at the Singapore Open, a Japanese pair has taken the women's doubles title. 17, 22, 20 in 47 minutes. And the champions are courtside, and no doubt they'll be absolutely delighted with the first title of the year to go with the three titles that they won last year. Let's go courtside and hear what they have to say with our MC. 
First of all, very com a big congratulations to Mayu and Wakana on clinching the victory. Now, the Japanese women's doubles are very competitive. And so far in the top 15, there are six pairs of you. So what makes you different, stands out from the rest of them? は、とても強勝が激しいって、これまではトップ 50の中にはAnything you'd like to say to your fans back at home and here in Singapore? Thanks for all the support from all the fans. Thank you. Please give up once again for the winners of the women's double, Mayu and Wakana. Congratulations. Japanese world champions saying how much they enjoyed it here in Singapore and thanked the fans and the fans more than have been very knowledgeable and we've seen some very good women's doubles matches this week. We have and uh, it, as you say it was a, a big surprise um, in, in the other half to see also the, um, the junior world champions from China coming through to the semi-final. I think that was a really good result from them as well. So things are changing as I said in the in the women's doubles I really feel that the uh, Japanese dominance is under threat if you can say it that way yeah and I know exactly what you mean but just to emphasize something we were talking about earlier this is the ninth different women's doubles pair winning the tenth world tour title this year of this year yeah. and that is that's fantastic isn't it that we have such a variety because uh, whilst last year the top three women's doubles pairs from Japan were winning an awful lot of tournaments, you know, it, w it was almost predictable that a Japanese pair was going to win. So I think it's exciting what you've just said, that there's a breakthrough now from other pairs. Absolutely, and uh, that's what's so exciting. You, you have to have different nationalities. Runner-up for the women's doubles. Let's give a big round of applause to Kim Hye-jo and Kong hee from Korea. Yes, they've done awfully well this week. Kim Hye-jo and Kong hee And a winner for Only women's doubles of the Singapore Badminton Open. Year. Let's give it up for Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara from Japan. In their first ever appearance at this tournament, the world champions Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara win the Singapore Open. Second consecutive pair from Japan to win this Singapore Open title, following on from Tsukuramoto and Takahata a year ago. So for Matsumoto and Nagahara. It is a sixth career title together, a third world tour title to add to the Spain Masters 300 last year and the French Open 750. if the world champions continue in this run of form well they went up one place on the world ranking this week to number two i wonder how long it will be before they replace the current world number ones the pair they beat in the semi-final fukushima and hirota what a wonderful performance from the world champions throughout this week in singapore Yeah, 
names on the trophy. So as they pose for the photographers, we can look forward to our next final. And from women's doubles, we turn to men's doubles. And it is the World Championship silver medalists, Takeshi Komura and Keigo Sonoda, up against the two-time former world champions, but defending champions here, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan.